So today we had one of the events during the European Biotechnology Week, the very first of its kind. Um, it's taking place all across Europe in uh, more than 100 events taking place. This was one of them, an event uh, dedicated to understanding whether Europe still has a role in biotech in 2020, but also um, offering the uh, 2013 Most Innovative Biotech SME Award, which is the fourth in its kind. Well, I think if you look at the five biggest problems in the world and you just listed them out, climate change would be on the top of the list, energy security, energy self-sufficiency, food security, food self-sufficiency, probably clean water might be number four, and healthcare probably be number five. What's interesting today is that all five of those big problems of the world are answered by biotechnology. Europa Bio said we're going to give an award to the small enterprises that are really making a difference, and they assemble a global a uh, group of, um, of judges to look at technology and they select the winner. Today was the announcement not only of the five runners up, but the winner of the European Europa Bio SME Award. We saw a whole range of uh, biotech SMEs during the judging panel. I must say a very excellent quality. We really have good research, good innovation and also good backing of, of finance of, 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 of these companies. So we really saw a lot of optimistic things and the things to be, to be happy from. What I also see here today is really a celebration of entrepreneurship, taking risks, bringing innovation to the market and developing new products. That's, I think uh, we need a lot more of that. So the winner of this year's annual Europa Bio Most Innovative European Biotech SME Award is Psy Oxus Therapeutics Limited. We're an Oxford-based uh, biotechnology company. We're focused on new treatments for cancer therapy. Uh, we're particularly focused on a, a new form of cancer therapy called oncolytic viruses. Europe is an incredibly innovative environment. If you look at some of the world's greatest discoveries, they've come out of Europe. What we are sometimes lacking is the infrastructure, the environment, the system that allows us to take that and turn it into great companies. And that's something that I'm very passionate about and it's something that I think we should be far better at here in Europe. The challenge we always have in Europe is to transform the research into actual products. Whether it's a question of funding or a question of regulatory obstacles, um, we still haven't cracked the nut. There is the entrepreneurial potential there. There are the SMEs, there are the larger companies. We just need to have the right policies in place to allow them to flourish. Biotech is going to become much more important in the future. We're going, really going to evolve towards a bio-based economy. What we should do as policymakers is really allow the framework to be established that these companies grow, that these innovations grow. We do this through, for example, Horizon 2020, putting a lot of money into concerted excellent uh, research, but also through, for example, new schemes to finance companies so that these new innovations can be brought to the market and to the, page, to the patients. And I think this is also important that we support the whole ecosystem that uh, biotechnology needs to really develop.